After submitting its bid for the Indian Navy's Project 75 Y tender, Germany's Disenkrypt Marine Systems has said that the six new submarines will be built upon the foundation laid by the Type 214 submarines, but will also be custom crafted to align with the distinctive requirements of the Indian Navy. It will feature high levels of automation, fully integrated air independent propulsion system, latest modular weapon and sensor systems, torpedo countermeasures system, a substantial payload capacity, impeccable signature management, as well as remarkable underwater endurance and ergonomics. A French team headed by French Defence Ministry officials met Indian Defence Ministry officials to negotiate the contract for 26 Rafale Marine deal for Indian Navy. The Indian side will now send a request for proposal to the French government for the deal, for which the cut-off date would be 7 September. The Indian side has also requested the integration of its Astra Mark 1 air-to-air -air missile into the Rafale aircraft of the Indian Air Force and Indian Navy. Officials have said that the naval configuration of Rafale Marine will be similar to what has been provided to the Indian Air Force. India has issued an OTAM warning for the launch of a missile in the Bay of Bengal period between 13 to 14 September, and the designated area is 1,990 km, which suggests that it could be the first test of the 6,000 km range K-5 submarine launched ballistic missile. Using a K-5, an Indian SSBN can hit targets of strategic value in China from the Indian Ocean. The Indo-Israeli joint venture Kalyani Rafael Advanced Systems has bagged a 287.51 crore rupees order from the Defence Ministry for the supply of missile kits that will be completed over the next 12 months. The missile kit is part of the MR Sam Air Defence Missile jointly developed by Rafael Advanced Defence Systems and DRDO and manufactured in collaboration with the Indian industry. Kenya's Cabinet Secretary for Defence have arrived in New Delhi on a three-day visit to India, and he is expected to visit Indian shipyards and defence industries in Goa and Bangalore. The Kenyan Navy is interested in acquiring an Indian-built frigate, while the Kenyan Air Force is also looking at the Tejas aircraft as an option to replace its aging F-5E aircraft. Senior officials from the Defence Ministry and DRDO visited the Defence Technology and Test Centre in Lucknow to inspect its progress of infrastructure and equipment procurement. It is set to start operations by the end of the year and holds the promise of becoming a vital hub for the manufacturing of BrahMos missile and its upcoming NG variant, as well as other advancing technology areas such as drone and anti-drone systems, electronic warfare sensors and electro-optic systems. India and the United Kingdom have started talks to co-develop the next-generation super-powered hovercraft that will be manufactured locally in India and will serve as versatile transport vessels for troops and equipment during amphibious operations, meeting the evolving operational requirements of both nations. The Indian Coast Guard and the Indian Navy are both actively considering the procurement of military-grade hovercrafts. Oh, my God.